What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. I know I didn't do a video in a long time, but it's like this. Everybody heard about this, the two football stars raping, um, raping this girl, this minor, this girl. And when I first heard about the story, man, I thought it was kind of fucked up. It's like, oh, it's like they raped this girl, too. Two football stars raped a girl. I said that's 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 bad business. Somebody's daughter's got raped. Somebody's daughter got raped. Second thing is the town that they live in. What is Stu Stuville? Like it's not like it said Stupidville. At first, when I first heard it, I was like, "That's got to be a joke. It's got to be a joke." But and that town was divided over the case. You got half the count, you got half the town saying, "Oh, they're innocent," and that half I looked at them. I was like, I look at them like this: the ones that were sitting there supporting these two football players of rape. It made me look at them like, "Are you kidding me? Somebody's child just got raped, and these other guys that had something to do with it." And you sitting up there supporting two football stars because they play college football or high school football, whatever. And you sitting up there supporting these people. Like they just committed a crime. Oh, they, 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 uh, they, 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 they didn't do nothing wrong. They raped a girl. They sat here and they just raped some girl, somebody's child. And y'all act like they, they didn't do a shit. It doesn't matter if you're playing college football, high school football, whatever. Rape is rape. And I sat here and I questioned the people that support them, supporting them, supporting them about this because one thing is it's against it's, it's it may it's like it looks like they support people who rape people. Or commits crimes like this, like or rape, murder, shit like that. Yeah, because if I found out that my child got raped by two football players, it doesn't matter if it was high school, college, or pro, I'd be ready to beat their ass because they raped my child. And then if you're gonna see a, if there's five, if there's two people saying, "Oh, your child deserved to be raped." How does the girl deserve to be raped? She was... She was... Drunk. Unconscious. And didn't know... Didn't know nothing... Was going on in her surroundings. Didn't know what was going on. And people and like... She was... The, she was the criminal. Oh, she's the criminal. She let herself get raped. How do how does a woman let herself get raped? How does any woman let themselves get raped? It's like Dick Gregory said when he was doing uh he was doing a public speaking about Trayvon Martin. If a woman was naked, it doesn't give no man the right to rape that woman. It doesn't give no man the right to rape that woman. It doesn't give these two motherfuckers the right to rape that child. I'm glad they was found guilty of the crimes. But still, it does not give them the right to rape somebody. And then I hear that, I hear, hear that the people who knew might get charged for accessory. Because they knew about the crime and did not report it. And, and if you support, like to me, it's like if, if you support these key, if support these two football players, then you telling the world that you support people getting raped and murdered, and children get molested because that's how it looks. Oh, I don't support the rape, but I support the football player. No, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't support rape, then support two guys that rape somebody. See you know what I'm saying? You can't support two people that committed a crime then say, oh, I'm against rape or I'm against murder and you just seen two guys murder somebody. Oh, yeah, I've seen somebody murder, I've seen them two murder, but they're innocent. You just said they just murdered somebody. Oh, yeah, I saw them shoot them, stab them and all this and that. See, you, you see, you, you're stupid. 
you you stupid. And and I tell you this, I tell you this. I like I said, man, when anonymous hooked up that girl Amanda, it found her. I I give them more props because I saw anonymous said on WWE tonight and then wait on. It's a cigarette, not a blunt. I wish it was a blunt, but I give Anonymous more props every day. When I hear good things about Anonymous, when they stand up for what's right, they're like Robin Hood. They stand up for the people. Like they kind of like Robin Hood, except they don't stay. Like I was, I don't know. Like I really don't know how Anonymous works, and I'm trying not to get in their business, but. Every time they do the right thing, every time they do something right or something great like this, every time they do something great like this, it makes me look at them like, you know what? These guys are the best. These people are the best. Anonymous kicks more ass than a fucking popo does. If I knew about Anonymous when I was in high school or if I was in middle school I would have told my teacher if my teacher would ask me what do you want to be when you grow up I would have said I want to be like them people called anonymous because they're doing more good than harm people have painted a picture where that these guys are terrible people and you see them doing all these great things and you sit there and you look at them and, and, and it makes you think it's like these people don't sound bad but they painted a picture that they are how, how? they sat there and said that these guys these two football stars are guilty of rape like what was that when I did the Amanda Todd video and I say somebody left a comment saying that the anonymous is like it, the anonymous are the internet police. I said, if, the, if anonymous is the internet police, you know what, man? I be shaking their fucking hand every day and kissing their ass. If they can sit there and do this, <laughs> can actually bring justice to the people, then they are somebody. Then they are doing their jobs. Protecting the if anonymous is protecting the people more than the fucking police, then they are. Then they're then they're better than the fucking police but like back to back to this home case but I look at it like this I look at it like this that I look at them like this they committed a crime of right I would, if if I went to school with two guys that rape some girl, do you think I will sit back and support these people? No, because one thing is they rape somebody. I wouldn't want to be associated with somebody that committed a crime. If I was there and I knew they did this, I would have reported myself. Oh, you're a snitch! Snitch my ass. I'm not gonna sit there and have that shit on my conscience where I knew two football stars raping a fucking raping a girl cause you know that could have been your daughter it could have been your niece it could have been your granddaughter that could have been your cousin that could have been your sister that could have been your mama they could have been any female in your family and you and, and for people to sit there and support them you telling the world that you allow somebody to rape your child to, to rape your daughter to rape your niece to rape your grandchild grand granddaughter or great granddaughter or your mother or whoever whatever female is kin to you you're telling the people that you want somebody to rape your child I'm not saying that you want somebody rape your child I'm saying you I'm, all I'm saying you want them to because you're supporting people who did it and there was evidence coming there was evidence connecting them to the crime and y'all said oh they're good kids 
good kids my ass. If there was good kids, then they would have raped this girl. They're not bad kids. Yes, they are. You don't sit there and say, what went wrong? What went wrong was you was not a fucking parent. Don't, don't sit there and say they're good kids because one thing is, if there was good kids, they would never rape, murder, sell drugs, do drugs, or uh, steal or whatever. They wouldn't be breaking the law if there was good kids. I blame the parents because they couldn't teach their I blame these two's parents because they didn't teach their sons how to keep it in their fucking pants. They couldn't keep it in their pants because one thing is because one thing is they're under they're still young. Their brain are, is not done. Their brains are not done learning. And you wonder why kids act up so badly. It's because the parents are not fucking parents no more. They they're not doing their fucking jobs and their kids are acting all crazy and shit and doing stupid things like this. Don't say that oh, you know crazy kids, they do crazy things. Yeah, they do crazy things. Rape, murder, sell drugs, do drugs, pimp, prostitute, uh what else? Murder. And you're acting all sadetty and proud about it. How you gonna act sadetty? Man, my I, I can see now. I, it's like you. I can see it like, oh, my son, he just murdered somebody. He murdered five people. Oh, now I'm proud of you, son. Go back there and get. That's these fuckers today. That's these parents today. They get so proud of their child breaking the law than doing the right thing. You can you can sit there and say, oh, Joe, you're so wrong about this. How am I so wrong about this? They pose in a picture of holding this girl, and you telling me that, that I'm wrong? That they raped a girl that was unconscious and didn't know her surroundings? That this girl is going to need more therapy? Because what happened? Because, uh, man, it just, I just look at this, man, like, I look at the people that support them, and I say, you should be in jail with them, or be shot. Because there's no way. I ever support somebody's somebody that's raped somebody unless if I knew excuse me unless the evidence was uh was contaminated Tam evidence uh, what's it what's the word called uh, uh tampering with evidence lack of evidence yeah then I was then I, I was like look at a different light but when it but the evidence is showing that these kids are wrong one is going to be in there one they both been found guilty and charged for rape I can't remember their names but I remember that the football player that's wearing the number 15 jersey is spending two years in juvenile and the one in the number 12 shirt it's been a year in juvenile. See, to me, it's like this. <laughs> that means they're under 18. Or something like it. They must be under 18 or something. Or they must be 18. One must be 18. The other one must have been uh, 17 or something like it. I don't know the ages. But it's like this. Yes. I think they should have. I, I think the judge should have been like this. Yes. You be in there for. Like, both of y'all be in there for two years. And you show your time in, in juvenile, whatever, detention, you're going to have four years in the state pen for rape. Or three years or two more years in the state penitentiary. Because one thing is, uh, it's like, yes, that was a story. Because, see, it's like, it's the crime, the, 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 the sentence didn't fit the crime. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> and I'll tell you this, the 
there was a story about this kid. There was a story about this man. He lost his job. And he was he went three years without a job and he got bored. So what he do? He joined the neo Nazis. Not neo Nazis, he joined the Nazi group. Cause he was bored. And I thought, okay, and they actually showed it on what uh TLC or something like that. And I'm showing the story well I lost my job I was a plumber at a school it's like motherfucker you could have found a job in many other schools to be a plumber at that's like same with uh, office building anywhere else to be a plumber instead of sitting up there you probably heard the story I don't know if everybody heard the story but but it, the story goes like is he he was out of work for three years he joined a racist hate group and he's been doing it for a while. His son got so mad and, and tired of his dad hating on minorities that he killed his dad in his sleep. He killed his dad. His mother calls, no, not his mother, his stepmother calls the police, tells them my stepson killed my husband. And I'm sitting up there thinking in my mind I was like I wanted I wanted to say good job to be honest I wanted I, I, I wanted to say I, when I first heard him that he killed his dad I wanted to walk up to this little boy shake his hand and say thank you and one and then I, the other half of me wanted to say I'm so sorry man I'm very so sorry that you had to do this to your daddy because you hated what he did and it was wrong for what he did. It was very wrong for what this this boy did. That he killed his da daddy because he hated what his daddy did. Was hate no minorities. He joined a hate group. And when his stepmom called the police, they arrested the boy. They told him. And when he was sentenced for killing his dad, rest of the life, rest, uh, being juvenile out detention. To a certain age, then after that, he's going to the state pen for the rest of his life for killing, for taking a life. And I looked at it, and that child was only twelve. The boy was twelve years old, eleven to twelve years old, and he killed his dad. And he's spending. So you probably, you probably sitting there thinking, so what does that story got to do with this story? The story is, if a twelve-year-old can kill. A grown man can care if a if a eleven or twelve year old can kill a grown man and spend some odd years in a juvenile detention, then gotta go. And after he gets out, he's got to go straight to the penitentiary. And it makes me look. What makes these guys any different from them? I said they write a girl they write the girl give them like like give like give like let this shit fit the crime like give them time like give them like a few years in the in the juvenile detention then have to give them a few years in juvenile detention send their ass to prison don't sit there oh, a few years and that's it no, you better give these motherfuckers time in j prison, jail, whatever, man, for com raping this girl. You cannot sit up there and say the girl knew what she was doing. How the hell did she know what she was doing if she was sent up there knocked out, unconscious? Unconscious. She didn't know what was going on going in the surroundings she was at. She didn't know what was going on in her surroundings. She didn't know who was raping her. She didn't know who was doing all this to her she didn't know she was drunk don't sit there and try to play oh she's the she's the she's the criminal she's the criminal she had my she had them guys arrested she wasn't a criminal man raping somebody that was on this this unconscious and unaware of her surroundings there you go unaware of her surroundings does not make her a criminal a bad person it makes her a victim And I'm glad that these two guys were found guilty. But to me, like I said, they should have got time in the juvenile detention. Then after that, send them to fucking jail, man. Let them, let their fuck, let them fuckers, 
<laughs> and figure that shit out, deal with them. But it doesn't. But it doesn't feel right for. It, it's it's not right for them. It's not right for people to support them on the crime they committed because it's, to me it's very wrong. I was like, I still can't figure out why would you support two people that committed a crime. It's just like that girl the killer. It's just like like the story they've been telling for the last almost a whole month about the girl killing her boyfriend and all this and that. They found a whole bunch of evidence. They found all this stuff on her and all this and that. And she was found guilty. Now she's spending life in prison. It's just like that, man. You cannot support somebody who broke the law. If these if these dudes, if these two football players would have been would have been found not guilty, that would have told everybody. That judge would have told everybody, it's okay to rape whoever. You probably would have said, "No, you're wrong for that." No, yeah, I'm right. If those two boys would have got away, would have got a, got away with right, would have got away with right, would have got away with right, then that judge is telling people, "You can rape whoever you want. I will not send you to no jail time, no probation, no nothing." You can walk the street raping whoever you want. That's what it would have been if it if they was found in uh, not guilty. And I sit here as today as a man, and I tell I'm gonna say this anonymous. I give you more prompts than the F, than a fucking police officer. I give you more more respect, more prompts, and kudos to anonymous because they are not trying to take no shit from nobody. And I sit up here and I look at this man like, put this poor girl is going through so much hell, have to relive this in a courtroom because she's been raped while she was un unconscious, unconscious. Like they heard, they t now, like, like I said earlier in this video that they said they're gonna arrest the people who knew about it. And I'll be, I'm sitting up here like, Amen. Hallelujah. Because the reason why I say that is, <laughs> they should be arrested. To me, if I was a judge, like, because one thing is, y'all, everybody seen that video of that guy laughing about her being raped and thought she was there. Oh, yeah, she's been raped. <laughs> I thought that was more than me. I would have had his ass arrested. I would have had his ass arrested. I would have had him arrested and had him sit up in a in a jail cell. So you thought it was funny for this girl to get raped. So I'm gonna give you jail time. Then after you get out of jail, then you can yeah, I'm gonna put you on probation because you thought it was just straight up funny. And you posted and this was posted up online and shit like that. But <laughs> but um. Uh, But like I like I'm just saying, man, this is like. But this is just some sad shit. This is just some sad shit, man. Just, uh, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think. And I don't want to hear that after Joe, you're ignorant. Keep the comments to yourself. You're going to call me names for real. But it's like, yes, tell me what you think. Do you think these guys are guilty? Do you think these guys should be in jail? Too. Because one thing, I, for real, man, to me, I think they should be in jail. But tell me what you think about this. Do you think these football players deserve to be in jail, too? Or do you think that they got do you, or like one thing is do you think they got a off a light or do you think they got what they deserve or do you think they should have had a heavier sentence heavier sentencing 
Tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow, uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Yes, Afro Joe is back. And I will still do more videos. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. Holla at me.